The fall from grace of the Jacobin government was again taken advantage of by the moderate bourgeoisie, who opposed all the reforms of the Jacobins. Their first legal measures were the annulment of all the laws of the previous period and the beginning of a persecution against those suspected of having supported the Jacobins. Along with this, a new constitution was approved that eliminated universal suffrage and imposed census suffrage again. These measures soon encountered strong opposition, on the one hand, from the popular classes anxious to recover the Jacobin democratic reforms, and, on the other hand, from the monarchists, whose aim was to reintroduce the old regime in France. This political instability, together with the serious external situation due to the war against the absolutist powers, was taken advantage of by Napoleon, a young French general with great fame in the army. Napoleon staged a coup d'état, liquidated the 1795 constitution, and proclaimed himself first consul of France, thus becoming the most powerful person in the French state and laying the foundations of what would become the Napoleonic Empire in a few years.